How's it going? I'm Steve from Marine Depot Direct, and today we're going to talk about mushroom cleats. So mushroom cleats, they're, they're these things. You've probably only seen the top of them sticking out of a boat if you don't have any on your own. Uh, unless they're in use, obviously, then you probably, you know, have a little bit of a better idea of these. So they're nice low profile uh, addition to your boat, kind of eliminates the uh, the little obstacle or the little uh, danger to stubbing your toe when you're boarding. Um, they're not for heavy use. Uh, this is the only part that's actually physically installed into the boat. The actual mushroom part itself is kind of held in place there with a spring and an e-clip. So it's not for heavy use. It's more for things like fender lines, um, buoys, life preservers, things like that, that um, you just need to have on temporarily and need quick access to, or may need quick access to. Ours are made from 316 stainless steel, so they're perfect for fresh water or salt water. And they just add a nice little form factor to the boat. So I'm going to preface this. I am not a handy guy at all. You've probably picked that up if you've seen some of our other videos where I'm installing things and I'm I think there's one video I'm not even using a drill, I'm just hand screwing something in um, because that's just who I am. <laughs> so admittedly my, uh, my install job is shoddy at best, but I did install one of these into a little pallet, the same pallet that we've used for a couple other videos here that you might have seen, and uh, I did an okay job, but admittedly the back portion um, looks terrible. I'm sure there are better woodworkers out there um, and you know uh, many many boat people are handier than I am. So just know that going in. So this installation requires a lot of the kind of standard stuff when installing anything just the proper drill bit. This is going to need a three quarter inch hole so I used a boring drill bit that might be your best bet for something nice and uh, perfectly clean but if you've got something else that can do it absolutely go for it. I'm not here to tell you how to work on your boat. I'm just giving tips. Sealant is always a must. You always got to remember to remove any core around this uh, because you don't want moisture getting in. That's how rot happens and I don't want that to happen to your boat. You spent a lot of money on this. Keep it nice. Make sure you got some safety glasses, make sure you got some painter's tape, uh, you know, all that good stuff. You've probably installed more things than I have in my life. So let's get over to um, me in uh, a <laughs> very hot workspace and you can uh, laugh as I uh, make an attempt at installing this, uh, this cleat myself. All right, so. Let's get into the actual installation of this thing. And of course, whenever you're drilling, safety glasses. All right, so once you've found the location that you want to actually install this, you want to go ahead and put some painter's tape over that. Remember that you are absolutely perfectly fine with the location that you're going to be drilling into your boat because obviously you're drilling into your boat. You don't want to mess that up. All right, once you've got your hole drilled through, you can go ahead and carefully remove your painter's tape. All right, once you got your hole drilled, you gotta get the actual cleat installed. So first you gotta pop off the little, uh, I think it's called an E-clip. Usually it's a little too tight to do with your hands, so you might wanna just get a pair of pliers. There we go. Don't lose it. <laughs> carefully remove the spring. and then take off the little uh, piece here. I am not allowed to actually permanently install this, so I'm not using sealant, but this is where you would go ahead and put some of the uh, silicon-based marine grade sealant around here, and especially uh, in the actual hole itself, because uh, exposed core is what will lead your boat to get mold and rot. Yeah, that three quarter inches is gonna be absolutely perfect. All right, so then you always want to use stainless steel screws when you 
are putting this in, but I did not have any on hand, so I'm just using these as placeholders. All right, and this is where you may need someone to help you, but we'll be putting this in there. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't fall out. Okay, and this is where you're gonna to wanna to put the clip back on, and it's helpful to have someone hold it from the other end, otherwise uh, it's kinda of hard to hold a spring on there without this actually coming out. So you can't see it, but I do have someone back there holding it for me. And there we go. All right, and then from the front, all you have is this nice little button looking thing here, and that's the cleat itself. When you want to attach something like a rope or a buoy to it, you just pull it out, attach that in there, and then the spring will help keep it in place. But yeah, it's great for, you know, tying a buoy to, um, hanging ropes from. It's not, you know, just remember not to put actual, like, heavy weight on these things. I feel like I should apologize for making you watch that if you've watched this far into the video. Our analytics show that you probably haven't. <laughs> so that was the basics of installing this cleat. Admittedly, again, it's a bit of a shoddy job. Um, I used screws that were probably a bit too long and not the right material. But you get the idea. Um, sometimes if this is a new installation process for you, it helps to just have some kind of visual reference, even if it's not the best. I am not the best visual representation of anything that has to do with installation. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I try to help you the best I can, so there it is. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video that will be coming up pretty soon. Hey, thanks for checking out that video. Click over here to see what YouTube thinks that you should be watching next and click over here to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss another video.